If you plan on flying next year, there will be a new air travel requirement for US residents starting next year. Travelers who want to board an airplane for domestic flights will soon need real ID card. In this video, we talk about the new air travel document and how to check if your ID is compliant. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Next year, US residents will need real ID cards to board domestic flights in the United States as the federal government seeks to address security issues and further improve identity checks at US airports. Travelers who want to travel by air will soon need a star on their driver's license, indicating that it is a real ID compliant credential, or they will need another form of approved identification to board their flight or enter a secure federal facility. The upgraded real IDs will be required starting May 3, 2023, and the one-year countdown has begun. Travelers are not required to get a state-issued real ID. However, starting May 2023, if you typically use your driver's license or non-driver ID to fly within the United States, then you probably want a real ID, said Thomas Carter, TSA's Federal Security Director for New Jersey. Otherwise you will need to use a valid US passport or another federally approved valid form of identification when you walk up to the TSA document checking podium. The consequence of not having a valid ID is that you won't be permitted to board your flight. The measure was introduced in the Federal Real ID Act which places new rules on which forms of identification may be used to board flights within the United States. This means that, from 2023 moving forward, Americans who are 18 or older will only be allowed to board flights when in possession of a real ID card. So far, the only US states issuing both real ID and the so-called enhanced driver's licenses are Michigan, Vermont, Minnesota, and New York, while Washington state residents can be issued an enhanced driver's license only. Those residing in any other US states will need to apply for a real ID. Those who routinely use their driver's license as a travel document within the United States are now advised to check their state-specific requirements for obtaining a real ID ahead of the deadline. The United States advises its citizens to check for the star, as all new real ID cards come with a star at the top. Americans can now also use a new interactive map to find the real ID issuer closest to them. Check our blog post for the link. It helps ensure travelers will obtain it through official means and avoid scammers. The star and other new security features will be reviewed by airport security when the real ID mandate starts being enforced. For more information on real ID cards, including costs, travelers should follow updates from the TSA website and their own state's official means of communication. Is your driver's license compliant with the new rules? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. 
If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.